I think if if you live in Hong Kong now, you have to accept to some extent that the situation is going to be very different from the situation that you left. Um, but for how long that's going to be the case, I don't know. Um, I think the most important thing we have to do is to make sure that we remain aware of what's actually happening in Hong Kong and not to allow the communists to spin their own story. I notice he didn't stay for very long. He didn't, he didn't even stay overnight in Hong Kong. The poor guy. Perhaps he's worried about intruders. But my wife suggested that the reason why he didn't stay longer in Hong Kong is that he didn't know the words to Glory to Hong Kong. I was very struck by the headlines in newspapers, both in this country and elsewhere. For example, in the Economist magazine this morning, which said that what we'd witnessed in Hong Kong was one of the greatest, perhaps the greatest, free societies in Asia being turned in a few years into a police state it would be laughable if uh, we took seriously what President Xi had said about real democracy now coming to Hong Kong. Mr. Lee, who was allegedly elected, actually selected by a bunch of trustees, quizlings, and elected not on a manifesto about the economy or social progress education or the health service in Hong Kong. He was, a, he was chosen because he had been in charge of the police. A terrible, terrible policing and a terrible way of trying to govern uh, a, a peaceful, prosperous, stable community. The other thing I noticed that um, President Xi said once again, was that Hong Kong had to be run by, by patriots. Well, what does he think people like Anson Chan are? What does he think people like Jimmy Lai and Martin Lee are? The truth is that the Communist Party of China defines patriots like this. To be a patriot, you have to love the Communist Party. Tall order. Um, when the uh, Communist stooges in Hong Kong were recently rewriting the school textbooks about the history of Hong Kong, they removed, as you know, any suggestion that Hong Kong had once been a British colony. And I have never ever done anything but to criticize the terms in which Hong Kong became a British colony. But they said it had never been a British colony. Uh, it was simply an occupied territory. And I wonder if they ever think through what that really means and how it relates to the point about being patriots. Because who occupied? Hong Kong. Who made it such a success story? The people who occupied Hong Kong were overwhelmingly refugees and the family of refugees from communism on the mainland. People like Jimmy Lai who stayed away at age 12. Others, many of you and your families. The population of Hong Kong at the time of the communist takeover 
in the mainland was about 600,000. Overwhelmingly, Hong Kong consisted of people who were refugees from the Great Leap Forward, from the Great Famine, when some people in the mainland were driven to cannibalism, from uh, the Cultural Revolution. All those events which we're now supposed to forget. Just as they're not allowed to take part in a vigil, even hold a candle on the 4th of June to remember the people who were killed in Tiananmen Square. They've attacked not just Democrats. They've attacked the rule of law, allowing the national security law to seep into the common law. Why do people wait for so long for a trial without bail? Why no bail? They attack freedom of, <coughs> freedom of the press. Jimmy Lai and others, but Jimmy Lai is a particular target, not only because he showed what a refugee from mainland China could do in Hong Kong, but also because he had the guts to stay behind. He could have, at any, at any, any, any moment, he could have gone to Taiwan, or here, or America, or Canada. But he stayed behind because he wanted to show that he wasn't frightened of them. And they hate that. I think if, if you live in Hong Kong now, you have to accept, to some extent, that the situation is going to be very different from the situation that you left. Um, but for how long that's going to be the case, I don't know. Um, I think the most important thing we have to do is to make sure that we remain aware of what's actually happening in Hong Kong and not to allow the communists to spin their own story. Um, there are one or two ways in which I get kept informed, I'm not going to mention them, in case um, there's a friend here from the Chinese embassy who report back how Peng Ting Huang was getting his information. <laughs> and that would be very good. The purpose of this event is to mark uh, the, the 25th anniversary of the handover of Hong Kong and of course also the second anniversary of the imposition of the draconian national security law. Um, but at the same time, it's also to uh, help launch uh, Lord Patton's new book, uh, The Hong Kong Diaries, which are the diaries that he kept when he was governor. Yeah, we're really pleased that, uh, that, that so many people have come. When the, the original BNO uh, scheme was first introduced, uh, it was already a very generous scheme, but of course it didn't help uh, many of the most vulnerable young people uh, who uh, may have one parent who is a BNO holder, but if, unless they came with their parent, they, they couldn't uh, uh, get access to the scheme. So what this amendment does is it enables them, uh, as long as they have one parent who's BNO, to come here on, independently of their parents, um, of course as long as they're over 18, and they can claim uh, the BNO scheme, and uh, it, it helps them uh, because it means they don't have to go through the asylum system. I think that's what's particularly important. So we are uh, lobbying, the, the advocating to the government to do uh, is to uh, reopen LOTR to enable young people to come here uh, in advance of the scheme opening uh, as they did previously with the BNO scheme um, so that they don't have to wait until, until November. So, so I don't know exactly how many young people will come but I would imagine uh, there would be quite a lot and also people who are already here who are perhaps uh, stuck in the asylum system may be able to claim uh, this, this scheme instead. Uh, I give a, a lot of credit to the government for the BNO scheme, but in terms of holding the Chinese Communist Party regime to account for what they've done to Hong Kong, for breaking their promises, breaking an international treaty, dismantling Hong Kong's freedoms, the UK has done nothing. And uh, so I think if the Prime Minister and the Foreign Secretary are serious in their words, which I really welcome, they need to follow up with action, and that means, in my view, uh, targeted sanctions uh, against those uh, responsible for dismantling Hong Kong's freedoms and autonomy. Mm, 
同埋我諗佢做每一樣嘢好有心，去幫香港人。咁呢個係我諗我哋廿五年嚟，即係 even 佢佢離開咗香港啦。咁到我哋而家呢一個時間，我哋都即係好念念不忘，我對佢都即係好 respect。即係對佢一個非常非常好嘅一個一個港獨咯，真係好想見翻佢，即係覺得好似見翻佢屋企人咁樣。即係以前成日喺香港嘅時候會好懷念嗰段時間，咁但係依家咁樣樣去好 personal 咁樣去同佢傾偈啊，面對面同佢接觸啊，我覺得係好唔一樣咯，好親切咯。而且佢即係當我知佢當當佢知道咗我係前線示威者，流亡咗過嚟呢邊嗰個身份嘅時候，咁啊佢第一時間去問候我，又問我。誒生活點啊？覺得 O 唔 OK 啊？即係即係好似嗰個朋友咁去問候，所以就係幾幾特別嘅感覺嚟。九七嘅時候七歲，係啊，好夢幻㗎。其實係即係成件事係覺得即係誒。以前先即係好似已經係冇咗嘅嘢咁樣樣，跟住都冇諗過會咁樣再遇翻咁咯，係，所以就好似好，所以有種好莫名嘅感動咁咯、呃。尤其是我有同佢講八三一件事啦，咁樣然後佢即係佢嗰個反應就係佢覺得佢有責任啦，咁啊搞到即係依家香港依個情況係咁，佢都。佔咗好大嘅責任，然後佢覺得好內疚啦，對住我哋呢班年輕人，尤其是前線示威者。當然喺我自己嘅角度睇，佢就已經係做曬佢可以做嘅嘢㗎啦。咁但係就我自己見到佢，連即佢都係咁樣諗嘅時候，就所以就更加覺得係佢一個即係幾好嘅人，就係、是、真心係好為香港同埋係好關心，即係香港嘅抗爭者究竟依家嗰個生活點啊嘅前路係點啊？佢係一個好慈祥嘅人，同埋我覺得佢啲 words 係好 powerful 咯。佢交翻支旗，即係落住雨交翻支旗嗰下，同埋搭船走嗰下，都可能以前、呃、我哋個年代做 ETV 啦，咁就都仲會介紹咩係回歸嘅，咁咁就喺嗰啲片段就知道彭定康係個咩人咯。係，我覺得佢應該仲會係有一啲影響力。你話佢需要再去點樣可以做好啲呢？我諗我可能唔係淨係靠佢一個人嘅力量咯。我記得，我覺得即係、就是、我自己個人覺得就應該、呃、每一個人佢自己都有、呃、每一分一力咯。即使我哋一個普通市民都好，我哋每人行多一步，能力範圍能夠做多一步，好好嘅教育，好好嘅發聲，好好嘅每一點盡力嘅支持係好重要咯。我覺得係 l o v 真嘅，即係我我覺得係。誒、um, 好難得啊！即係 even 到而家呢一刻啦，咁多年啦，廿五年之後，其實佢都好關心我哋誒、um, 見到佢一啲嘅訪問啦，或者佢一啲嘅、uh, speech 啦，即係你都見到佢，佢係冇忘記到香港。始終而家個形勢同埋佢嗰陣時嘅管治實在太唔同，其實有好多嘢由一二年之後由反國教開始，已經每放月下。咁連著一件衫嘅顏色都成為問題啊！咁始終而家最大鑊或者最影響最深嘅，始終係九七後嗰班嗰班手足，期望佢可以喺一個即係以佢嘅話語權、以佢嘅名銜、以佢嘅地位、以佢喺英國社會嘅影響力，睇可唔可以喺議會上。做到什麼？嗯，我會多謝佢幫香港做嘅一切咯。我諗好多嚟到嘅香港人都會想多謝佢，因為見到佢不停咁喺議會度都好出力咁繼續幫香港講嘢。我會由我太太誒，佢、呃、自己精,精心準備咗一啲小禮物咯，包括我女整嘅一幅相，同埋我太太亦都整咗一個。呃、香港揾咗個朋友去畫咗一幅漫畫，揾個相架相起咗佢嘅，咁誒、呃、寫咗一啲字，咁咪作一啲小小嘅心意咯。我希望即係其實嗰、那個、呃、心意好緊要，係代表我哋香港人，代表我哋香港人係衷心好多謝彭定康先生咁耐對我哋香港支持咯，包括阿、啊、阿、啊、傑斯先生 Hong Kong Watch， 包括所有喺海外。嘅香港人對香港嘅支持咯。咁你會同佢親親口講啲咩？多謝 ，I love you， 肥棒。